I think we'll go ahead and begin. Timekeeper, are you ready? If you would, Congressman Fallon, uh, lead us off with two minutes. Uh, just any opening remarks you may have. First of all, I'll say thank you so much for coming today. It's a great pleasure to be here with you, and I'm excited that we have our new executive director of the Republican Party. Congratulations. I'd like to start out by thanking the gentlemen who have joined me here on the stage, Roger, Robert, and Randy. Roger, Robert, and Randy. The three R's. It's all three R's. That's something about that. You know, they are just as committed as I am to the future of Oklahoma. And thank you, gentlemen. And I'd like to start by introducing my family, my husband, Wade Christensen. Wade and my children, Christina and Price Fallon, and two of our six children here with us today. Appreciate you joining us. Well, I'm ready for the governor of the state of Oklahoma because I love Oklahoma. I care about our families, I care about the future of our state, I'm concerned about our nation, and I'm going to do everything I can to stand behind our party and to make sure that we put a conservative governor in the governor's mansion to lead the state of Oklahoma. And I commit to you today that whoever wins the nomination up here, that I will be backing that person. Now let me just tell you what I'm going to do as a governor. I'm going to focus like a laser beam on jobs, the economy, doing everything I can to create the very best business atmosphere so we can put our Oklahomans back to work. I'm going to balance the budget. I'm going to reform state government. I'm going to make a smart, more efficient, more effective state government. And I'm going to focus on education so our children can have the education they deserve and that we need to build a strong economy in the state of Oklahoma. I have fought the battles in Washington, D.C. I have the experience. I'm ready to step up from day one to be your CEO of the state of Oklahoma. I've been in the legislature. I've passed bills. I've been in Congress. I've passed bills. I've served the executive branch for 12 years. I know the battles that we have with Obama and Pelosi. I know how to stand up and fight for our state rights, how to fight for the future of our nation, and how to stand up for those that want to change our democracy. I'm going to be the governor that will stand up and fight for those things, move Oklahoma towards a better, more prosperous future. I need your help, I need your support, and I need your vote. Thank you so much. State Senator Randy Brogdon from Owasso, and I'm uh, indeed honored to be a part of this panel today. And there's a couple things that you need to know about me. Probably the most important thing that I'd like to share with you is I uh, fell in love with my high school sweetheart about 37 years ago, and 37 years later, we're still in love and still married. And I'd like to introduce my wife, Donna, to you, please. The other thing that I'd like for you to know about me is uh, why I'm running for governor. I'm running because I want to restore the founding principles that made our country great. The values and the principles that have made America the greatest nation in the world, that made Oklahoma the most amazing place to live, those values. I'm also running so we can restore the same principles that the Republican Party was actually founded on. But folks, I gotta tell you, I'm afraid we have veered away from some of those founding principles. And I have a very simple goal as governor, and that is to lead this state back to the practical application of those founding principles. And I believe that this governor's race is about two things. It's about leadership, and it's about vision. And I have ex uh, shown uh, dedicated leadership throughout my eight years serving you in the Senate. I have also showed my leadership abilities serving my clients, my customers, over the last 30 years being in business for myself. And I have a crystal clear vision, not only where Oklahoma should be, but how to get there. And my vision is to create jobs, certainly, but not by utilizing government bailouts and stimulus schemes and earmark spending and the like. Rather, using the uh, ingenuity and the genius of the individual and allow you to create jobs, taking advantage of the free market. I would sincerely appreciate uh, your consideration and your vote in this governor's race. Thank you for being here today.
continue to do what I've done for the last 20 years. I have worked very hard since I was first elected as a young mother to the Oklahoma legislature to stand for conservative values, to go out and speak that vision throughout the state of Oklahoma, to focus on our basic Republican principles of limited government, more smaller, efficient government, low taxes, government reform, personal responsibility, economic freedom, faith, family, God, those are things that have always been important to me, and to help recruit candidates. I've helped recruit candidates throughout the state of Oklahoma over the many years to run for the legislature. Now we're seeing the rewards of our hard work over the last 20 years. When I started the legislature, we had 30 Republicans out of 101. Now we have the majority in the House, we have the majority in the Senate, and we're going to make a clean sweep this year from the top to the bottom, all the way down, electing conservatives to run the state of Oklahoma so we can have a better, more prosperous future for our state, so I'm going to continue to do what I've been doing for many years, and that is standing up and fighting for our party, not only here in Oklahoma, but also in Washington, D.C. I'm proud of my four years in Congress. I have to tell you, it's been a real eye-opener being up there with Speaker Pelosi and President Obama. Those people have a different vision for our nation than I have. They believe that you can borrow tax and spend your way to prosperity. I know you can't. I know that businesses and individuals create jobs, not government. Government doesn't create prosperity. We can't be taxing our businesses, over-regulating our businesses. We can't have massive government takeover businesses, whether it's health care, like President Obama's health care that I fought against. We can't be passing new energy taxes, like cap and trade. I have fought the battles against those things. I'm willing to take on the battles here in Oklahoma. Some of the battles I fought here in Oklahoma, I took over the Senate to pass right to work. I took on the unions. I took on the trial lawyers on workers' comp and trial reform, tort reform. I'm not scared to take on the big battles that will transform the state, lead the vision for the people of Oklahoma, and continue to build our party. As far as the party goes, I, I love the Republican Party. I, I uh, registered when I was 18 years old. And I think if you would ask my colleagues in the state senate, uh, the one one word that comes to mind, oftentimes when I've been introduced in public, I am the conscious of the conservative movement. You see, I'm a consistent conservative. I'm a constitutional conservative. And I believe in the rule of law. I truly believe in uh, the blessings of liberty that our founding fathers gave us. And my entire tenure of serving you in the state senate has proved that my words and my deeds perfectly align with each other. You know, it's one thing to talk about smaller government, and then it's another thing to vote that way. Well, while uh, Congresswoman Fallon has been uh, voted for the bailout, the $800 billion bailout in Congress, need I remind you that that particular bailout vote allowed the federal government to seize control of private industry. Never in my lifetime would I have ever thought that government could take over uh, financial institutions, General Motors. I am so against that kind of government. I truly believe in smaller government. And my policies show that. As a matter of fact, rather than supporting that kind of a uh, government bailout, I wrote legislation to not allow government to grow faster than what the private sector is growing. It's called the Taxpayer Bill of Rights. And people, if we had passed that piece of legislation five years or four years ago, uh, we would not have the budget crisis that we are in today. And I would like uh, all of my members to join me, no matter who serves in the governor's office, if it's Congresswoman Fallon, if it's me, uh, I would challenge uh, each one of them to answer today, would you support spending limits on the politicians in this state? It is a very important thing that we must address in the state of Oklahoma. Overspending is stripping our kids of their economic future. And I'm against the kind of policies that have been uh, coming down from Washington, D.C. Thank you. Well, there's no doubt that Oklahoma is in some very difficult times with our budget. We do have a budget shortfall. We will continue to have a budget shortfall through the budget year of 2012. Our next governor is going to have to focus on prioritizing government spending, making government more cost-efficient, more cost-effective, without tax increases. 